Scientists are finding unexpected things in the latest images from the James Webb Space Telescope. Discoveries that suggest the universe might not be what we thought it was. These strange new observations are challenging everything we've believed so far, from dark matter and dark energy to the very origin of the cosmic microwave background radiation. According to scientists, the Webb Telescope is uncovering something big, something that could change our entire understanding of the universe. Andre Couteau, a postdoctoral researcher at the Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory in California, said in an interview that, we're in the business of letting the universe tell us how it works, and maybe it's telling us it's more complicated than we thought. In this video, I'm going to break it all down for you, step by step, and trust me, it's going to blow your mind. But first, there are a few important things you need to understand. According to the laws of gravity, its strength weakens with distance. For example, the sun's gravitational pull on Mercury is much stronger than on distant objects like Pluto or those in the outer edge of the solar system. This principle isn't limited to our solar system. It applies universally, from stars and galaxies to massive black holes. But in the late 1900s, something unexpected happened. When scientists began observing galaxies more closely, especially in the 1970s with astronomer Vera Rubin's work, they noticed something strange. Stars far from the centers of galaxies were moving just as fast as those near the core. Scientists believe that if stars are truly moving faster at the edges of galaxies, you might expect them to fly away into space, much like water flying off a spinning wheel. This is because the pull of gravity is much weaker at the outer edges of a galaxy. But surprisingly, the stars don't fly off. This unexpected speed suggests that there must be extra gravity at play, pulling on these stars to keep them in their fast orbits. But with more observations and evidence, scientists realize that something invisible must be working behind the scenes. They called this hidden force dark matter. Here, dark matter means an unknown force. No one knows exactly what dark matter is or what it's made of. But many observations suggest that it has played a huge role in the formation and growth of galaxies. This dark matter perfectly explains how the universe evolved and how cosmic structures came into existence. According to the standard model of cosmology, after normal matter formed just after the Big Bang, dark matter pulled it together using its gravity. Over billions of years, stars and galaxies began to form and grow inside these dark matter halos. Even the large-scale structure of the universe, the vast web of galaxies, clusters, and cosmic filaments we see today was shaped by dark matter. It acted like an invisible framework, helping normal matter clump together and form galaxies. Even the tiny temperature ripples we see in the cosmic microwave background radiation carry clear signs of dark matter's impact in the early universe. But wait, what the James Webb Space Telescope has recently discovered in the early universe is shaking up everything we thought we knew. It's raising serious questions about dark matter. Either we've misunderstood it completely, or maybe it doesn't exist at all. In the latest web images, scientists are discovering galaxies at record-breaking distances. This means the deeper we look into the early universe, the more galaxies we're finding, almost like there's no end to them. And that's a big problem for the current dark matter model, because it can't explain how such distant early galaxies could already exist. One of the most distant confirmed galaxies so far is MOMZ-14 which existed when the universe was less than 280 million years old. Even more surprising, scientists have detected galaxy candidates at redshift values of 20 and beyond, meaning they may have formed when the universe was just around 200 million years old. These are still unconfirmed and need more testing, but if proven they would push the limits of what our current theories can handle. What's even more shocking is the nature of these early galaxies. Some of them already look well-developed similar to our Milky Way. They're not small or chaotic like we expected. 
Some even contain older stars, and a few are bigger than the Milky Way itself. One galaxy named J0107A, recently discovered, is about 10 times larger than our galaxy, and it existed when the universe was just a few hundred million years old. It is the largest Milky Way light galaxy we have ever seen in the early universe. These discoveries are really worrying. We've long believed that dark matter played a major role in galaxy formation and evolution, but now, that same dark matter theory cannot explain how these strange galaxies came into existence so early in the universe. So, either we are missing something big in our understanding of dark matter, or what we call dark matter might be something entirely different, something that behaves in a way our current theories can't explain. But wait, those distant galaxies aren't the only problem. The James Webb Telescope has also revealed something even stranger happening in the universe, something that dark matter can't explain. Scientists have discovered that the largest cosmic structures in the universe, like galaxy clusters and vast filaments, seem to have formed differently than we previously thought. This mystery has become one of the biggest puzzles in modern cosmology, and scientists refer to it as the S8 tension. S8 is a value that tells us how much matter is clumped together in the universe, especially on very large scales. It helps explain how galaxies and galaxy clusters are spread out and how they've evolved over time. Now here's the strange part. When scientists study the early universe using data from the cosmic microwave background, they calculate a certain value for S8 based on our current standard model of the universe. But when they look at the present-day universe, using telescopes to observe how galaxies are actually clustered today, they get a lower value for S8. The difference might not sound huge, but it's consistent and statistically significant. That means it's not just a mistake or a random error. So, what's going on? Well, some scientists suggest either there's a problem with our measurements, or, more likely, there's something deeper and unknown happening in the universe that we still don't understand. Well, it's not just dark matter that's under question anymore. The James Webb Space Telescope is also raising serious doubts about dark energy, the mysterious force we believe is driving the expansion of the universe. Scientists have found major differences in how we measure the universe's expansion rate, known as the Hubble constant. When we calculate it using data from the cosmic microwave background, we get one value. But when we measure it using supernovae and other methods in the nearby universe, we get a completely different value. This mismatch is known as the Hubble tension, and it's become another big challenge in modern cosmology. And here's the real twist. Even some recent observations suggest that dark energy might not be a constant after all unlike what we've believed for decades. Instead, it could be something that changes over time, something we still don't fully understand. But hold on, it gets even more mind-blowing. There's a problem even bigger than all these cosmic tensions. Since the discovery of the CMB radiation, many scientists have believed that the Big Bang Theory must be correct, that the universe had a definite beginning. The CMB was thought to be the first light from the early universe, and its properties align remarkably well with predictions made by the Big Bang model. But a new research suggests that the CMB might not be the afterglow of the Big Bang at all. In this new study, researchers found that what we've been interpreting as the oldest light from the Big Bang might, at least in part or maybe even entirely, come from something else. In this research, scientists focus on a specific kind of galaxy called early-type galaxies. These early galaxies would have been filled with young, hot stars that produce a lot of radiation. If enough of these galaxies were packed together across the universe, their combined radiation could have filled space with a glow. And this glow, over billions of years, could become red-shifted, stretched out by the expansion of the universe, until it looks exactly like the CMB we see today. This means the CMB might not actually be a remnant of the Big Bang at all.
It might instead be the combined radiation from billions of early galaxies. In fact, the energy that these massive galaxies contribute to the overall noise in the CMB signal is not tiny. It could account for about 1.4% of the total energy in the CMB that we measure today. That might not sound like a lot, but it's enough to affect our interpretation of the CMB, especially as we try to make more precise measurements in the future. And that's just a conservative estimate. If we include all types of early galaxies, this percentage could go even higher. If early galaxies are contributing a significant portion of the CMB radiation, or in the most extreme case, if they're the main cause of it, then the entire basis for using the CMB as proof of the Big Bang becomes unstable. We would need to rethink everything from the age of the universe to how structures formed, and even what kind of physics ruled the early cosmos. All these discoveries made by the James Webb Space Telescope are challenging our fundamental understanding of the universe and how it began. From dark matter and dark energy to the most important evidence supporting the Big Bang, the cosmic microwave background radiation, everything is now being questioned. These findings suggest that we might be missing a major piece of the cosmic puzzle, or that the universe is completely different from what we've always believed. But it doesn't stop there. The Webb Telescope isn't just shaking up our existing theories, it's also uncovering strange new clues that hint at something even more mind-blowing. The possibility that the entire universe might be a giant black hole in another recent observation of 30,000 galaxies by Webb Telescope, scientists found that most of them are rotating in the same direction. This is incredibly strange because, according to the Big Bang Theory, the universe should have formed in a chaotic manner, with galaxies spinning in random directions. However, this unexpected uniformity suggests that the universe may have started with an initial spin, something that current theories do not account for. To support this idea, Shamir's team measured the redshift in more than 30,000 galaxies. The results were astonishing. The further back in time they looked, the larger the imbalance in galaxy rotation became. This means that in the universe's earliest stages, galaxies were even more strongly aligned in their rotational direction. This is something that cannot be easily explained by current cosmological models. If these findings hold up under further scrutiny, they could force scientists to rethink the fundamental nature of the universe. It may even point to physics beyond Einstein's theories. After all these groundbreaking discoveries, a recent study published in Physical Review D by researchers at the University of Portsmouth suggests that our universe might actually exist inside a black hole. The research team believes that the universe was born from a massive gravitational collapse that created a black hole. This theory challenges the traditional Big Bang idea that the universe began from a point of infinite density. Professor Enrique Gastañaga explains that when matter collapses under gravity, it doesn't always end in a point of infinite density. Instead, it can reach extreme density and then bounce back, triggering the birth of a new expanding universe. In this theory, the edge of our universe is actually the black hole's event horizon, a boundary that blocks us from seeing anything beyond it. This black hole universe idea suggests that the cosmos wasn't created from nothing, but is part of an ongoing cycle of collapse and rebirth, a loop that could go on forever. This theory also shares similarities with conformal cyclic cosmology, proposed by Nobel laureate Sir Roger Penrose. According to Penrose, the Big Bang was not the absolute beginning of everything. Instead, he suggests that our universe is just one in a series of cosmic cycles where each cycle or aeon ends in a kind of stretched-out emptiness and gives birth to the next. In this view, other universes existed before ours and more could follow after. All these discoveries and new theories are incredibly exciting and they might just be the beginning. Hopefully, in the future, 
the James Webb Space Telescope will continue to reveal even more clues about the true nature of the universe and how it all began. That's it for this video. We hope you enjoyed the journey. Don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments below. We'd love to hear what you think about these mind-blowing discoveries. If you enjoyed the video and want to support our work, you can do so by clicking Super Thanks or by grabbing one of our awesome t-shirts from our merch store. Thanks so much for watching, and a huge thank you to our channel members for your continued support. See you in the next video.